Uh, hello there. It is uh, Wednesday, and uh, the earlier vlog, last week's vlog, didn't go up until Tuesday. Um, I was supposed to actually leave on Tuesday for vacation, but we had the lug meeting on Monday night, and I found out early Tuesday that one of the guys there ended up uh, waking up really sick and tested positive for COVID. So instead of leaving on our vacation right away, uh, we're kind of sitting tight for a couple of days. Uh, we're planning on leaving tomorrow because I still feel fine. I think I probably just did not catch it. Um, I did part out a small set in the meantime. I did that today. Uh, this one right here, it's the 70680 Monastery Training uh, Ninjago set. Did only five of them, no big deal. Um, and so all these parts over here were from that set and then over here it's still the pick a brick cups and some of the light gray and light bluish gray that i've been working on dealing with i decided i didn't want to go through more of that right away i got more of it over there it's all i believe uh, one by plate left uh so yeah this uh this stuff here now i have somebody coming a friend of mine is coming to watch the cats uh, and staying here so they're going to be doing some stuff for me they're going to put these drawers away hopefully uh there's a set they they may part out and that's over here. And it's this Friends set, this Beach Glamping 41700. I've got like 20 of it or something like that. So it's gonna take up a lot of space, uh, but he's done this before, so he, I have no problem having him do this. Uh, he can make use of, once he clears these carts of the numbered drawers, he can use the carts, that table, this table, my sorting table over there, anywhere there's a free space. He could even set up that uh, folding table over there, perhaps right over here if he wanted to, uh, to spread out the pieces for the part out. Uh, but yeah, that is uh, what's been going on. Uh, the vlog is probably gonna be pretty short uh, that you're gonna be watching at the moment. You probably already noticed when he said, oh, look at this, this is a new vlog, but it's pretty short uh, because I'm going away. But we will see how that ends up. Um, you can see right here, my current numbers I've got uh, 347,278 pieces in 3,932 lots and almost 1,600 visits to the store. Now, some of that certainly is me uh, going to the store to uh, check that. But also, you know, when I upload, I go to the store to see what my part count is. But anyway, that is all I've got for you today. Uh, and uh, we'll have a little bit more going forward for the next vlog that will come out. In any case... Thank you very much. Hello again. So I'm back from vacation. Uh, I had a great time and there's gonna be some more clips coming from that. Uh, but in the basement, I had an error on an order. These five parts were missing and I just definitely made the mistake. So I have let them know that I have the part and can send it out. I've actually refunded them for the part because well, that's the way I'm gonna do it. And also uh, I issued them uh, a dollar amount that they could also spend in the store if they'd like and then if they did it as a request invoice then I would cancel the shipping fee on that and ship it with these pieces if they still need these pieces uh, and if they don't then they can just use that coupon for whatever uh, so yeah I uh, made a mistake I'm sure it won't be the last one but there you go um, and nothing else really has happened here at all. Um, the part out that was a possibility over here did not happen. Uh, as well as some other things. This here, the beach glamping set, 41700. So this might be the next one that I tackle since it's already pulled out and ready to go. Uh, but yeah, so we've got some haul type stuff. Uh, there's the stuff that arrived here at the house while I was gone. And there's the stuff that I picked up while I was gone. So we'll probably add that after this video. But yeah, we're, we're back and we missed the vlog because, well, I was driving so much that I didn't have a chance to add any kind of content. There wasn't really much to add. I was tired when we got into the hotels at night and then we were visiting people and stuff like that. So it just, it didn't work out as I was thinking it might be. And I think it worked out better. I, I enjoyed myself and didn't have to worry about anything. But... Uh, going forward, we will see what we can come up with for some additional content. Uh, I'm thinking about some other stuff that might come to light before this vlog, so we will see. Anyway, thank you. Hello. As you can see, I'm upstairs and we've had some snow. Uh, I was sprinkling or flurrying just a little bit earlier, but it stopped. And most of this, I think, came yesterday. Uh, and because we're upstairs, we're actually going to do a haul of the stuff that came 
while I was on vacation. I'm pretty sure that uh, this will become evident very quickly, but I had a, a editing or a, a mistake when I was creating the video. Uh, when I put the camera in the neck mount, I started recording and didn't realize it. So when I hit record, I actually hit stop. So this Walmart box here and this Kohl's poly bag I've already opened. And I thought I did it on camera, but no, I did it off camera because all my walking around in, in the living room here to set up the shot, that was on camera. So yeah, it was kind of weird. Anyway, so the Walmart box uh, just has two items in it. And it's two of the Galactic Adventures pack. Uh, the 66708. I found two more of those that could get shipped to me. That was pretty cool. Uh, it's pretty much out of stock at this point. I don't think it's going to come back again. Uh, and then we came to the poly bag from Kohl's. So we're going to pull this off and just look. Oh, and there's a slip too. We'll put that aside. Uh, and it was two copies of the 76190 Iron Man Ironmonger Mayhem. Mayhem. Um, I bought these, they were on sale, and I had Kohl's cash to spend. So, I don't think I paid anything for those. <clears throat> uh, here's a box from Kohl's that has not been opened yet, but we're going to do that right now. All right. Okay. And we have more of the same set. I bought a bunch of them. Uh, I had to spend the Kohl's cash on something. I just heard... Uh, one or more of the cats run up from the basement. <laughs> they like those stairs sometimes. They run up and down them. It's good exercise for them. Uh, but yeah, these were on sale, and I had Kohl's cash to spend that was expiring. Uh, so yeah, I just went in and bought a bunch of a set that was on sale. So basically didn't pay for it. I think what I ended up doing is I paid a little tiny bit, uh, and either with paying that tiny bit, I did not pay for shipping, or I paid for shipping. I can't remember at this point uh, but yeah so we got more of these because i'm pretty sure i have some already all right another coles box here i have a feeling it may be kind of predictable what's in here but we'll see all right more as i thought they managed to get three of them in this box Putting them in kind of at an angle there. It did at least uh, crush one box a little bit, but I'm not too worried about that. Now we got a big Coles box. Let's see what we have in here. Uh, the other thing I mentioned in the first version of this video is that I had the Walmart Coles. This pile is Amazon, and this middle box has some green on it. It doesn't say Amazon on it. It's not branded. As you can see, it's got the little arrow or the yeah, the arrow on the Amazon arrow there on that box, but not that one. The label looks similar to the label up here. There's no discernible return address. It's just some letters. So I had opened it up previously and uh, checked what was inside. And okay, it was Lego. And when I was going and blotting out addresses and stuff, I realized that this label m looked very much like that label. So I put it with the Amazon. And then this stuff over here is from Lego. All right. Now we'll open up this Kohl's box. Back to Kohl's. All right. Oh, that didn't seem to work. Try that again. There we go. Got some nice bubble that I maybe I'll be able to save. It's, uh, it's hard to break that kind of bubble down. And we got more of the same set, which, you know, we kind of expect. Ah. There we go. Trying to put them up in the same order. All right. And so we'll pull the slip out, put that down here. And we're going to put this bubble in the box to create a place for that. All right, so now we're on to the Amazon stuff. It says tear here to open. Let's see how it works. That worked. All right, cats, I hear you both. All right, so here we've got some of the Black Panther mech uh, set. Not expecting them to be in great shape because, yeah, there's 
There's the crushed boxes, but that's just the way it goes. You know, I, I'll have to deal with that. That'll be all right. And of course, I couldn't pick them up because they were all crushed. All right, let's put them over here. All right, now the box that I opened. There we go. We got a couple of the Shang-Chi Battle at the Ancient Village. That was on a good sale. So I already have some, but now I got some more. Here's another one over here. And a Speed Champions Corvette again. Uh, found another one. I'm pretty sure it was about 20 bucks. Might have even been as low as 17. I don't recall. Yeah, that, that worked out pretty well. And now we've got the last Amazon box. All right, so we got a bunch of these. These are the Christmas penguins. Ah. And these are also on a good sale. Let's see, I think we got about 10 of them. I would say 10 is correct. There we go. All right, now we're on to the Lego stuff. So we got this big box, and then we've got four other boxes over here. We'll open this one quick. All right, and so inside the box is another box. Well, that's, I don't know if I've ever noticed that before, but yeah. So. This must be like their outer shipping box, and then the other one is the inner set box. Uh, and then inside that, there'll be the actual set box. So that's, that's well protected. And look at this, they actually taped that box shut while it was in this box. That's kind of a strange thing to do, in my opinion. And there it is, we've got another Eiffel Tower. So we got that in there. I'm just going to slide this aside and close these flaps all back up, including the outer box flaps. There we go. All right, I'm going to put this small box aside. We'll open that one last. Ugh. Here is the first one of the smaller boxes. And I go directly. Got some paper. Always good to see paper. And look at that. Um, I got a blanket. <laughs> it's the VIP blanket. And this one is vacuum sealed. That's kind of cool. Takes up a little less space. But that's the only thing in that box. All right. Well, let's look at the next box and see what's in here. Ah, copy of the medieval castle. Uh, and I think what I was doing is I was buying stuff to get to uh, gift with purchase levels. And so I decided to pick up another castle. Um, I've actually seen the castle on sale recently too. Um, but uh, not enough to have me jump. Uh, just a little bit. And then this one... Although this might have been on sale at Lego. And then look, another medieval castle. So we got two of those, each one in its own box, so to speak. And then we have this, which is the small box, which I think I know what's in here. All right, a little bit of paper. All right, so we've got the, the Santa's workshop set, the 40565, that was a gift with purchase. I got this winter holiday train, 30584. I believe that was a gift with purchase. And then, of course, Eiffel's apartment, uh, 40579, which was a gift with purchase of the Eiffel Tower. And, oh, and then also, this is the fun and funky add on pack. So we have another one of those. And then, also, last but not least, I picked up one of the uh, point redemptions. This is the Duplo Dominoes. Uh, I said, you know what the heck? 
Well, let's get this, and so let's take a look and see what exactly it looks like. So yeah, they're just these little cardboard pieces. It says Duplo on one side, and then it's got like a domino type piece ID on the other side of it with numbers or pictures, it looks like. So yeah, I thought that was kind of cute. Close this up. Yeah, so there's that. And that is the completeness of this particular order. Uh, and that actually brings us to the end of the stuff that arrived while I was on vacation segment of the vlog. Uh, the next segment will be the stuff I got while I was on vacation. But I need to clean a bunch of stuff up here before I can get to that. So I'm going to turn off the camera and you'll be back in a moment to see that. Thank you very much. All right, so I have put all the stuff away that was shipped to me here. And you can see the sun is setting now. We're getting a little later in the day. And now we're going to look at the stuff that I got while I was on vacation. Uh, there's quite a selection of stuff here. Um, this box here uh, was picked up from Walmart and or Kohl's by a friend of mine. And so he had that ready. Uh, I stopped at three Lego stores and got my Lego passport stamped at them. And bought stuff at each one. Uh, this has got a bunch of stuff in it and there's more stuff over here. So we're going to start down at this end over here and uh, hope Pango doesn't get too much in the way of things. Hi Pango, how you doing? You've got fans, you know. He doesn't seem to care. Alright, so uh, one of the Walmarts I stopped at had all these classic base plates in the plastic wrap. They were $4 a piece. And while I wasn't necessarily hyped to get a bunch of them, I asked uh, people in the lug if anybody had interest in them, and I mentioned the colors, and so I'll probably just sell these to people in the lug at cost and basically get them stuff they need. Uh, I picked up these three Friends sets uh, at a Walmart as well. I think they were like $30 or $32. It, it, they had been, it was like a pretty good sale, at least 30% off. Um, I did find another Corvette uh, pack, uh, the two-pack. I think that was about 20. I got two of the fish tank. The fish tank has uh, reached some clearance now at Walmart and that was $17. I only got two because I was really, I was running out of room. Uh, and all this plus, you know, our own bodies and luggage and other things like that were in the car. So it had a limited amount of space. I did find a pirate ship. Uh, that was 25% off. It was only 75 bucks. So I went and bought that. And the Hogwarts Astronomy Tower was like 59 I think, instead of 90 or 100 or something like that. So I bought that. Um, I also found, eh, pull this up, we'll look at this bag. Uh, for this set, this is the Overlord Dragon 71742, but this was not how I bought it. This was in the Ninjago 3-pack. Uh, uh, and so I deboxed them because they were much easier to store the three separate sets uh, for transport. Uh, the other stuff is in that blue bag there. We'll get to that. Hi, Pango. Just investigating what's going on, huh? So I ended up getting four of that set. Um, I may ask that same person to check to see if they can get a hold of more because there's a store near them that had a whole bunch of the Ninjago sets uh, and the fish tanks, as a matter of fact. And so I may have them check on that. Uh, this is a good buy, too. I bought these. These are at two different Walmarts, and I picked up two more of the Darth Vader Meditation Chamber, uh, 75296. Um, that was $50. I know some people have found it for $45 at Walmart, but the two I saw were only $50, but I bought them anyway. Uh, this bag just has some poly bags in it. I bought two each of these. There's the receipt, as a matter of fact. Uh, this little hovercraft, the wildlife rescue hovercraft. It came with a monkey. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and then I got two of this train, the winter holiday train, which I believe is also a, is or was a gift with purchase at Lego. So, you know, I've got the free ones that I've gotten through gift with purchase, and I bought a couple more. So that's what's in that bag. I'll just throw the receipt back in there for now. Uh, now, this bag is kind of an interesting thing. Uh, first of all, this was a couple of gifts that I got. They're little non-Lego little racer sets that I thought were pretty cool, little cars. 
So we'll probably put those together at some point relatively soon. Um, but this was the, the Lego purchase in this bag. Uh, it is a Dots Series 7, I think. Uh, yeah, Series 7 box. But inside, there is some Series 6 and some Series 7. And I found these at Target and Walmart. Uh, Target had the Series 7 on sale and Walmart had the Series 6 on sale. And I basically crammed them all into this box to save some space. Uh, so there's that. Uh, now, these two bags are kind of interesting. Um, these two bags are some advent calendars that I also deboxed. Uh, this is four of the Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy one. And this one, which is so full, I basically put it in another bag with this bag upside down. This is 11 of the Star Wars advent calendar. And I found those on sale at Walmart. Uh, so I bought those. Um, I actually... Uh, well, we'll get to that. Uh, these were some more Walmart purchases. I basically, Walmart has started clearancing some more stuff. And I happened to go in, like, the day they were doing it. Uh, the day it started or something like that. So, yeah. So I bought more of these recycling trucks, which I think is a cool set all by itself. Uh, 41712. Uh, and they were $11 a piece, normally 20 so almost 50% off. Uh, and then what do we got in here? Okay, this is the doggy daycare 41691. Uh, these were also $11. And I got those four right there. And then this bag is not nearly as interesting, but in some ways it is because I've got uh, two more of the doggy daycare, but then also two more of the recycling truck so we got six each of those and they just they fit four in a bag so that's how that worked um let's see uh we are going to look at this bag first and then we'll go to the box and then we'll go to the lego store stuff uh, so this is a bag we actually brought stuff with us that were gifts for people in this bag I and mean, of course i knew ahead of time that this would be good for putting stuff in on the way back uh, it was really good because it's contained it, very nice, solid structure, so I like that. Uh, and right on top, you'll see these are the inserts from the advent calendars. Uh, so this year, instead of having like a molded, like cardboardy kind of uh, insert, they had these trays that were together like this on all four sides. Uh, and then inside the tray, they had these. And so there's your 24 slots that would be inside the tray. And I thought to myself, this is so great. So I basically broke these down carefully. They can be retaped. I can probably use this in drawers, perhaps. Uh, if it doesn't fit in a drawer, I can always cut it down. Uh, same thing with this. Like if it's only will take this much space, I can cut off some of the stuff here and I can use it for divided storage. Uh, I'm thinking minifigures. Uh, I could even just recreate the entire tray and have a stack of these trays to put minifigures in. Um, I thought that might be a good idea. But, you know, and in the worst case, I brought it home and I'll recycle it. You know, it's it's all cardboard. And so this is all the stuff that was at the top. Uh, one of the boxes was a little munched. But, even so, it was saveable. Yeah, that's all that stuff right there. Now we're going to get to the Lego stuff here. I only found one of this, the Attack on New Asgard, 76207. I believe that was also $11. Uh, I bought that. Fluffy Encounter. I'm pretty sure this was one of the items that was picked up for me. Uh, and I think this was you know, probably at least 30% off when it was bought. I think it was probably from Kohl's. But again, I... I Totally not really recalling at this point anything like that. Um, a Imperial Armored Marauder. Uh, this is from one of the Star Wars 3-in-1 sets. I did find one of those on vacation. Uh, and I also deboxed that. Here's a bunch of receipts and stuff. I'm going to put those aside right there. Uh, here is the other sets from the Ninjago 3-in-1. Uh, and this is basically how they come in the box. They just have this 
in there like this and then the other Ninjago set off to the side. I really think they could have done a better job with this. I think that if they put the other box this direction, the box would have been smaller. It would have only been about this wide. Uh, yeah, and then maybe this tall, and they would have had a little filler here. Instead of putting, it was just really weird. They had this one this way and the other one long way, so it created a very long box with a lot of dead space in it. And I just think that was probably not the best way to do it. But there may have been other constraints, like it had to fit on a shelf or something along those lines. I don't know. Um, packaging is a science. Uh, there's degrees that you can go to college for for that, so yeah. All right, so here's the other two sets in the Star Wars 3-in-1. So I got those. Uh, let's see, so now I bought two of these. This is the Chicken Hen House. Uh, these I think were $7 a piece. That's probably at least 30% off. Uh, I kind of like this set too. Uh, it's got the chicken here, there's a couple of them, and then the eggs, I thought that was, was were cool. But yeah, so I got a couple of those. Uh, let's see, oh yeah, I got three of this. I think this was also $7. This little Technic motorcycle. So that's kind of cool. Um, let's see, what else we have? Oh, I picked up these. Uh, it was one each of these stunt bike sets that were on sale. I'm not 100% sure I had these already, and I thought they were kind of cool, especially the bathtub one. So I'm going to make sure I got those. Uh, let's see. Oh, some friend sets. So this one is the Turtle Protection Vehicle 41697, and I got a number of these. Uh, these were also 6 or $7, as I recall, and perhaps even 5 I just having trouble remembering how much the price was on some of these. Uh, but, I mean, they come with two minifigures. There's a crab, uh, the tree parts, and there's also a turtle there. Hence, the, you know, the turtle protection vehicle. There better be a turtle in it. So I thought that was a good buy. Let's see. Two, four, eight, nine. Yeah, I think I got nine of that. Uh, let's see. I found crocodile this was also $17 uh, it had been 30 and then they marked it down to 22.50 for a long time and boom $17 so I again this is the only crocodile I saw so I bought it but I was running short on space so I was kind of glad I didn't find more uh, and then this minecraft set the uh, the horse stable 21171 uh, this was also as I recall $11 normally 20 and I got four of that I, again, thought it would be a good item to part out or perhaps sell whole. And I'm pretty sure that's all that's in the bag. Toss the bag to the side. Now, we're kind of running out of room here, so I'm going to have to slide some stuff around. All right. So I've got... Let me move these bags out of the way a little bit. All right. So this was stuff that I know for sure was picked up. Uh, and I, Walmart for sure. I don't know if there's any stuff in here that was picked up at um, Kohl's or not. All right. Okay, so we got uh, three more of the Galaxy Explorer here. Uh, these were picked up when they were $50. Ugh. And they kind of put them all in the box to have a way to carry things easily. And I just never bothered to open the box while I was there. I mean, I knew what was in there, basically, and I didn't have to worry about it. And then this, the Lunar Space Station. I'll have to look into this one because I don't recall ordering this. And I think it might have been a case where they substituted this for that. Uh... And buying these at $50 is probably not horrible. I'll have to look at what the original retail was on them. Uh, and I may have to return these if they end up not being what I what I want. But that's okay. That can be hap that can happen. Get rid of that box and then we're gonna move these again. Because we need to get to the Lego bags, which is the last stuff. All right, so yeah, uh, while driving, we stopped at three different Lego stores, two in one day. Uh, move all this Ninjago stuff over here on top. 
And this is the stuff that I got at that those stores. So this is the first bag. And this was I this was the probably the best part of it. Um so when I got my um passport stamped, they said, you know, you can uh did you get the sticker pack? And apparently now there's a sticker pack they give you with the passport that allows you to customize a little face that's in front the front page of the passport. I had not heard about this. He showed it to me, and so he gave me one of these. That was really cool. Uh, also, I happen to have an older version of the Passport. Apparently, the newer version has a more paper-like cover, and mine is kind of almost like a leatherette quality, so I have a better quality one, which is good to know. This is the receipt. And here is the, the haul. It's, I bought Pick-A-Brick, and I had brought in some uh, empty port Ziploc bags to get the refill price and also, you know, it's going to be easier for me to store these than it would be pick-a-brick cups. Uh, you know, having more pick-a-brick cups at this point, probably not critical. Uh, I have probably a couple hundred still empty. Uh, so yeah, these will be uh, good items to add in and all sorts of different pieces. Uh, this one is almost completely just this one piece, the red headlight brick. But I did notice that there are a few other pieces in here. Uh, because they had some a couple of cups on the counter that were already full and this was one of them and actually they had two cups of this and I pulled a few pieces out of this one of the cups to top off the first cup but then I noticed that there was a cup like right there there's a piece that's not it looks like it's a black cheese wedge so we'll just have to dig those out and, and double check these but that's not a problem all right so the next store I went to it turned out that they actually had some of the gift with purchase is still available. So I managed to buy stuff to get the gift with purchase. And so that is this. It's that Santa's Workshop. Um, it is set 40565. So yeah, I'm kind of excited about that. And what did we get to do that? Well, this I bought another Disney Castle because they had them, the mini one. Uh, let's see. What else? Here's another box. I bought one of the Looney Tunes, Roadrunner and Wiley Coyote Brickheads. That was on sale, as a matter of fact. Um, they also had the fun and funky add-on pack, so we got that. And it's a pick-a-brick. Let's see. Um, only two bags at this particular store. Uh, but then I also got some other stuff. I got this Infinity Saga character pack thing. Got two of those. And I got two of this. This is the more coveted clone pack. Uh, so I got a couple of those. And then my receipt. We're down to the last bag. Uh, and this store also had uh, the gift with purchases still available. So I made sure I, I qualified for that. And I got another of the Santa's Workshop right there. Um, I picked up one of the packs of the Christmas minifigs. Uh, and I did that because I needed to get my purchase total up a little bit quickly and they had these at the register, so I just basically grabbed that. Um, I picked up three of these at this store. Uh, they actually were limiting people to five, but I didn't want to be greedy and I had other stuff I was buying. Well, apparently they, they finally are getting some stock in, so that was kind of cool on that. Uh, let's see, I also picked up another Reindeer Battle Pack, 40499 Santa Sleigh. Uh, and I picked up a Christmas tree, 40573. I thought that would be a cool thing. I have one set aside that I think I'm going to build. Uh, I think it has a, a slightly damaged box. And so we're going we're gonna to build that. Uh, let's see, oh, I did get one pick-a-brick bag there. Uh, it took me a while to get these olive green small 2x2 two two wedge pieces uh, because they were mixed in with another piece in their respective slot and I had to pick them out by hand and it got harder and harder as I went. Uh, and I don't know that I've ever seen this piece before. It's like a dish but it's solid. I think it's probably something that came out of the Mario stuff and this color is probably not great, this coral. But I was in, in kind of enamored of the piece. It was a different piece, so I grabbed a, a bunch of those. Not a ton, but at least some. Uh, I also got the Fun and Funky add-on pack. So we got another one of those. And they also had, at this store, these small reusable bags that were, I think, a dollar and a quarter. 
And so I bought one of those. I thought it was kind of neat. Uh, I may or may not even open it. We'll see. Um, and then my receipt. So that is it for what I picked up while I was on vacation. Uh, it kind of gets to be a lot of stuff when you kind of look at it in this overview here. And of course now I've got more to put away. Uh, but that's okay. And that's what I'm going to leave you with at this point. And there will be some more vlog content over the rest of the weekend. And then we'll try to get this out on Monday. Uh, perhaps Tuesday. We'll see how it goes. Of course, you'll know already. Here I am telling you maybe, but you'll know by the time you're seeing this. So anyway, thank you. Hello again. I am in the basement and I've been down here for a while today. I've been dealing with these Ziploc bags, which you'll remember from the last clip are the pickup brick cups that I got while I was traveling. And all that stuff is over here on the cart now. Uh, I haven't really done much more than just separate it off into these containers. I've got to check the inventory, see which ones are already in inventory and get drawers out and that sort of thing. But I'm at a stop point. I'm probably going to take a break for a little while. Uh, and so there's my brick store file over there. Uh, there's a new microphone that I bought and a new webcam. Now I'm hoping the webcam, I can use that... Um, to look at pieces, to have it looking at pieces. I'm just not sure yet how I'm going to get two images at the same time. Because uh, there's going to be you know, the camera on me and then the camera looking at the, a piece I may show or something like that. Because it's my intention at some point soon to start getting to all these boxes back here. So yeah, that's that's on the plan for what I got coming for going forward, I hope. In any case, uh, that is all I've got for the time being. I'll probably pop back in with a little update right after this once I get a little further along with these pieces here. As always, thank you very much. All right, so we made a slight mistake. I didn't come back and do a video after I was done done, uh, but I added almost 5,500 pieces from the seven pick brick cups that I picked up on vacation. Um, like a couple of pieces I had uh, many, many hundreds of, and I think there was one that was over a thousand, a small piece. Um, there was one piece that was just mixed in with something else I only had one of, but I already had some, so it just got added to that drawer. As you can see, I've put the drawers away already. Um, and I'm kind of getting ready for my next project. Uh, and I've laid out nine containers here. And what this is going to be for is I'm going to pull down that tote up there of the two by plate and start working on that. And so it'll be two by two, two by three, two by four, two by six, two by eight, two by 10, 12, 14, and 16. Um, and I use smaller ones here because I anticipate less of those. Uh, and I will probably fill a couple of these small, uh, large shoebox ones a couple of times is my guess for some of those sizes, a two by two and a two by four. Probably not the two by three, but who knows. Uh, and that's what I'm going to get to next. So, yeah, I need to dive into that. We're going to get some more use done. I was considering doing a part out. I had all these uh, small drawers ready to go and, you know, all the stuff over there ready to go. And I just said, you know, that, that tote's been up there for a while. It'll be kind of easy to take care of. So I think I'm going to work on that. Uh, I also have Ben coming tomorrow to give a hand with some more stuff. So we'll probably be working over in the minifigure area for that. And yeah, that's just uh, what we got going on on a Saturday evening. And uh, I have nothing more to add at this point, so thank you very much. Hello. It is Sunday night, and this is the tote that had the 2 by plate in it. It is empty because the 2 by plate is sorted. Um, and it took about six and a half hours of pretty steady, constant work to do this. Um, so just over one of the shoe boxes of the two by two, about the same for the two by three, almost three full shoe boxes of the two by four, two and a little bit more of the two by six, and then two by eight is like one and a half, two by 10 is in one, two by 12 is in one, and then the two by 14 and two by 16 and in these smaller containers, not nearly as many of those. These were the pieces that showed up that weren't supposed to be there. Just a random assortment of stuff. I think the one that confused me the most is this, this sloped piece. Everything else kind of makes a little bit of sense. I mean, maybe that brick doesn't, but in any case, um, 
This little tote here is pieces that broke. Uh, some of the uh, dark brown or the reddish brown and the dark red. Uh, or pieces that I could see right away weren't in good enough shape to sell. So I just pulled them immediately. Uh, and then these were the ones that were non-Lego. So not much at all, really. Uh, granted, I'm you know trying to filter them out as I sort. But uh, that's not bad to make it through with it, that quantity that I had. Uh, so yeah, the next phase will be to move all these off the table and probably start with the biggest ones, the 2x16s, sort them by color and quality check them and start listing. So that's what we'll be doing going forward this week. However, Ben is here at the moment. Uh, we're just kind of wrapping up for the evening. And he's been working on all the minifigure stuff again. We're going to come take a look over here. Hello, Ben. How's everybody doing? I'm Ben, the Brick Builder. And his YouTube channel? Ben, the Brick Builder. Check it out. I'll put a link down below. But yeah, you can see that there's all sorts of progress. He's been labeling some of the drawers. I can't figure out the, the label maker yet. So we'll work on that. The moment, we're just going to go with the handmade labels. It works for now. I can always cover them later. But yeah, um, just some great progress. We have still have some bulk left to go, but we've cleared out so much that it's not even funny. This is about it from the stuff that you have separated. Cool. Not bad at all. And anything in particular that you thought was an interesting find today? I know there was that Minecraft figure you showed me. Okay. Zombie Villager, yeah. the old style, about $45 used. That's always good to see. But yeah, and so you can see there's the Minecraft drawer right there. Pretty full. And just tons and tons of other drawers everywhere as far as the eye can see. Almost. In any case, uh, that is going to be the last video for the vlog. I'm going to work on getting this up for tomorrow. And as always, thank you very much. Bye, Ben. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Thank you, Ben.